I've got Keith Warnock here with me. And Keith has been working with us for a few months in the Accelerated Program. And so, yeah, man, excited to have you here. I would love to hear, just starting out, what was your work experience before starting the Accelerated Program? Most of my work was always in manufacturing of um, basically urethane manufacturing. Um, And I did that for 10 years. And then uh, went from there to mobile home manufacturing and um, kind of started getting introduced into uh, automation type work um, from a friend of mine. And he kind of paved the way to uh, to get where I am now. He uh, started me out with working through some SCADA, had some projects that I could work on with him. And then moving forward, he helped me to get into all kinds of different trainings. And uh, that's where he led me to you. And that I went through that program and got me to where I am now. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I'm excited to talk about where you're at now. So your job that you, when you started was you were wiring up panels. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. Yep. So that's after uh, getting into this with him, I realized I needed more experience with, you know, the whole industry. So I uh, found a job with building control panels and uh, just moved into that, that space worked there for uh, it's been a year and two months now. So nice. uh, yeah, just I didn't even know schematics or anything like that before I started. So uh, that kind of taught me everything there. And I just kept trying to learn in my free time. So nice. that's pretty much how it all happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you were just wiring like it wasn't a PLC job or anything like no, that. No. You were just yeah, was, wiring panels. Yep. No live electric or anything to them. Um, yeah. Were you just, wiring up actual PLCs? Some of them. Yeah. Yes. Nice. So it just depend on what they were given, what they had at the time. Um, but uh, yeah, they had some um, small, it's Unitronics uh, PLCs and then some of the Allen Bradley um, type PLCs and stuff too. So nice. That's pretty nice. much it. Yeah. So uh, you mentioned your friend who helped you kind of get into automation stuff. Um, got you started with some training, like, tell me about when he introduced you to the accelerated program, what, what made you want to move forward with that? Um, just no experience in PLCs and I had really no idea how to go about even program or anything. Um, and then he kind of showed me that, that this, you know, what it was to, to do. And he looked around for, um, different programs to get into because, um, everything we were finding was college courses and had prerequisites and all kinds of stuff. So, mm-hmm. um, which kind of, he found you on LinkedIn, I believe, and, uh, and said that I should probably check this, this, uh, training out and he, uh, he hooked me up with it. So it, it worked nice. out nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Good to have good friends like that. Oh yeah. Sure. He's the best. <laughs> so Tell me about what happened, what, two or three weeks ago? Hasn't been very long. You got into this new role, how that that came up. Okay, so I had my yearly review. um, I think it was in August. And um, uh, my boss pulled me aside and, you know, talked about how I was doing, said I was doing great with building panels and everything. And um, he wrote down all of our training that we've had um and he even mentioned that i my SCADA training that i've already had and stuff and uh i told him i was like well i've been going through the the uh plc um training online and uh and so that's when he said well there's actually an automation engineer position to open up that there's a lot of programming that you would be doing mostly in that role and uh and he said you know it whenever you feel comfortable uh go ahead and see see about it you know that he's had no um saying who gets the job he's not the manager of that department um but i threw out an email out there 
uh, wrote down everything that I could think of that was my experiences and and uh, my training and um, yeah like within just a couple of days the automation engineer or uh, manager uh, came to me and and uh, uh, wanted to talk to me more and and uh, decided to give me a try for this role so yeah awesome so you started yeah. what like two weeks ago uh yeah last Monday so yeah it was, awesome this is my yeah, I made it through a full week in two days. So. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So um, you mentioned that they were going to do like a trial run and then evaluate pay after the trial run. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. So I have 90 days and then, um, yeah, so he can fill me out. I can fill the company, this position out. Yeah. Um, and so they, they said, you know, if it, if, you know, I don't feel comfortable or they don't feel comfortable. Like you can go anywhere in the company, really. Um, right. It's a pretty good company as far as that go. They try to promote within. They wanted to give me a chance first. Um, but yeah, it's it's been awesome. good so far. Yeah. They've been That's... real relaxed with me. And just the last week, I've just basically been playing with the new software. So it's uh, it's been good. Um. So, yeah, you answered one of my questions. I was going to ask how it's going so far. Do you have a team of people that you're working with that you can ask questions? Yeah, so it's um, we have basically there's uh, three of us that are actually in like the programming and stuff. Um, one guy is just specifically like Studio 5000 type work. Um I'm in the, um, you, it's Unilogics is what they use. I don't know if you've heard of that. Um, or sure, Vis- yeah. Visualogics is the one that I'm working on now, but Unilogics too. Yeah. They're just like, just try to learn it the best you can. <laughs> Basically how that, how that's working out. It's, uh, they've kind of just thrown it at me and, and, um, you know, they've, they've, they've really tried to, you know, start me out with the basics. And, and then hopefully I think the goal is, is to get me, well enough you know using it to where i can actually maybe even go in and redo what has been done because there was there's a lot of stuff i guess that's not um exactly working for them <laughs> so sure sure yeah <clears throat> yeah so uh, that's awesome man i i love you know my goal is for the people come they pay me to train them but then now you're in a position where you're getting paid to be trained, right? Mm -hmm. So they're, you're getting paid to learn more. uh, So you had enough to get your foot in the door, uh, which is, you know, a big part of what this program is all about. Did they talk to you about like what percentage of increase you might see and pay if you, you know, once you get to the review, 90 day review? They haven't talked anything about that. Um, I know from online it said that um, it could, you know, they kind of gave a ballpark of what they'd pay and stuff, but it was anywhere from like 60 to 80, I think. Gotcha. But so 60,000 to 80,000 a year. Right. So I don't know if that, you know, if it'll be that at the end of the 90 days or what, yeah. but, you know, right and, now and- it's all the same. Gotcha. And so what's, what's that rate currently that, for you? right now? Yeah. I make, um, metal, I make just over 40, 40,000. Okay. So potentially up to doubling. Yeah. Your income, potentially. Yeah. Well, time will tell. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now. Um, that's, that's on the lower end, uh, the 80,000. So, yeah. Uh, I'd say, you know, if you do well, you know, you, you'll have a lot of leverage to get that. That's extremely exciting. So I'm really happy yeah. for you. Yeah, uh, thank but, you. Yeah, I'll, I'll look forward to getting the update after the 90 days. <laughs> right. <laughs> Obviously, you mentioned before you've worked mostly manual labor type jobs, but you're you've been pursuing this. How does it feel so far? Do you like it? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's good. You know, just the first couple of days is just, it's like, what am I doing? You know, <laughs> Cause it's, it's so different. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm, I'm producing enough, you know, it's, it's that I got to get used to the, that way of, of work, I guess. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I'm, I've always been a, uh, a 
guy that just tries to get stuff done as quickly as possible. And, um, I mean, it's worked for me in manufacturing roles. It's always, you know, go, go, go. So, Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's always, always been good for me, but now it's kind of, I got to slow down and, and really think about what I'm doing. Right. Uh, So at the end of the day, your body won't be very tired, but your brain will. (laughs) Um, uh... But yeah, so it is interesting. Like you said, you have to kind of slow down at first to, to learn, figure out what you're doing, learn what you're doing. Right. Um, and it does, it will feel like, you know, you're not producing mm-hmm. much for a while, but once you get into a real project and you start taking from that knowledge and being able to solve those problems and automate that stuff, it's going to start producing big time for you and the company. So got exciting things to look forward to. Yeah. I'm excited to actually get in there and start on some real projects. Awesome. <clears throat> what was the, besides like increasing your pay and career growth, what were some other motivations, if any, that made you want to pursue PLC training? Um, Just uh, basically just the, the um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the opportunities, I guess, to continue to grow. I mean, it just, it doesn't stop here. You know, there's so many things to learn um, and there's no cap to it. Um, You can just continually learn. And that's, that's something that I really enjoy about this. It's not just, um, you know, doing the same thing over and over again every day. Uh, I've had plenty of days like that. So to actually be doing something that I can constantly grow at and learn every something new every day. That's, that's important to me. And, uh, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Who would you recommend this program to? Uh, I'd recommend it to anyone who's, um, wanting to grow and, and what they're doing. Uh, and anybody that, that feels stuck doing something that they're, you know, don't really want to do every single day. I think there's just so many opportunities out there for, for those who are really, who really want to better themselves. And um, like I said, there's so many different avenues that you can take it, uh, whether it's, you know, technician or, you know, programming or whatever you want to do. There's just unlimited ways of, of using this, this training, I feel like. So I think it's good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, congratulations, Keith. I'm excited for you, man. Appreciate all your time today.